Detroit's oldest soundstage is nearly completely restored. It's built in 1937, Cashew Stage has hosted famous celebrities like Aretha Franklin and Bob Seger for their music videos and performances. Now, over the past year and a half, a local Detroit man has been renovating it. And now this summer, it's nearly complete. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels takes us inside for a tour. Lights, camera, action. Welcome to Cadu Stage. The original building for Cadu Stage was built in 1937. Uh, it was Wilding Studios for many, many years. Chris Lee has been renovating the oldest soundstage in Detroit for a year and a half. Its many rooms once hosted music royalty like Bob Seger, Paul Schaefer, Grand Funk Railroad, and Aretha Franklin while filming her music video, Deeper Love. So Aretha Franklin shot music video Right where we're sitting? Yes, right where we're sitting. Now newly renovated, Chris says the stage will be used for creating movies, commercials, and music videos like it used to. The story is that when Aretha shot the music video here, she asked where her dressing room was, and they said, oh, it's up those stairs, and she looked at them and said, no, nah, I'm not going up those stairs. Filled with retro lounges and office space, Chris says the building will also be used as individual studios for artists. And one of the many art spaces here is this room, which offers space for a studio kitchen, as well as a space for natural and studio light photography. This is a lounge area uh, that'll be a common area, common space for all the offices and studios upstairs. I'm the first tenant in the Kedju stage. Collage artist Amy Feigley Lee works in the space currently. I think what sets it apart is, is the history of the space and the love that has gone into rehabbing it. How many spaces are there like this in Detroit? Like this in the city of Detroit, there I can't think of any. Due to the development of technology, content isn't shot on sound stages as much as it was 30 some years ago. Chris tells me because of that, many stages disappeared in recent decades to the point where more was needed. Well, here's more. There was a lot of activity going on in this building that hasn't been for a number of years, and so. My goal is just to get that activity, that level of activity back. And a final piece of the puzzle, Chris tells me this room will be converted into a podcasting studio by a July timeframe. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Sarah Michaels for 7 Action News.